What's crackling, everybody? Welcome back once again to the Definitive Serial Tier List. Which episode? Take a cereal, put it on the tier list, so you know how good it is. I'm your host, Tucker. In this episode, we are doing Fruit Loops. In this case, large size Fruit Loops. Which, to be clear, is just the box, not the actual pieces. But, you know, it's in big text, so gotta relate. And once again, we're doing a uh, bowl themed off of the character. I don't know if you can tell, but his eye recently started to fade away, more so than the rest of him, and it looks kind of freaky. I did consider using my other two kid Sam bowl, but this one's a little big, and the, I don't need this video to be that long. But getting into the stuff that matters, um, this is going to be one of the, you know, classic fruity cereals, so I expect it to be kind of high up. The big question is, can it topple... Fruity Pebbles as the currently top rank general fruit cereal. So let's find out. Live and on the year. Except not live, pre recorded. Mm. Classic fruit loop smell. Good stuff. Once again, like Fruity Pebbles, very good color variety here. I don't think the colors pop as much, which may be just because dark purple maybe kind of brings it down a bit. I don't know. I'm not great with artistic layout, design, stuff like that. So who knows why? They all are much more obviously glazed as well. Okay, here we go. It's a good fruit. By the way, very different fruit taste from Fruity Pebbles had. So unique there and much crunchier in like the, the broad sense. It's not like obviously bigger pieces. So you're getting a lot more solid crunches instead of a lot of little ones. So just very different aesthetic overall, despite being two very big fruit cereals. I think part of the difference might be that glaze that I was talking about earlier on where you can kind of see it's got a white coat almost around it. It's uh, definitely changing up the feel of it. And I can't off the top of my head think of another cereal we've done with a similar feeling, so that's neat. It's not like the Cocoa Pebbles one that's kind of weird. This one's just like, it goes very well. You know, it feels how you want it to, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's good. It's, you know Fruit Loops, it's good. I feel like this happens with every bowl of Fruit Loops, but there is the double piece scenario that happens where the glaze kind of sticks them together. But, you know, it's just worth noting that that seems to always happen. Let's go ahead and get some of the milk. See how that is. I don't think it's really picking up anything. Yeah, the milk is just milk. It's not really changing color much either, so. I guess that would make sense that's not picking up much of the taste, but somehow this is one of the first cereals that everything just stays on the piece. So I gotta commend to Can Sam for that. I mean, I guess I don't know if his nephews or whatever help out, but props to them too. Say so not a ton of crazy things to say about this. It's very good, very, very standard cereal. It's for sure gonna be pretty high ranked and Right now, main comparisons, of course, is going to be Trix and Fruity Pebbles. I still think I like the taste of Fruity Pebbles a little more, but Fruit Loops consistent the whole time through. Like what you get at the beginning is very similar to what you're getting at the end. The sagification that happens is very intense. It's still going to have a lot of the same feel, just slightly less crunch versus 
the very soggy pebbles that happen. And comparing it to Trix, I think the taste I prefer, Fruit Loops, but it is a little more boring because it is just little circles like Trix mixes it up where they do the fruit shade sometimes, sometimes they do just all circles and stuff, so I like that's a little more aesthetically fun, I guess. But I don't think that's enough of a reason for it to fight with this, you know. So I'm going back and forth a lot in my head right now, and honestly, it could go either way depending on the day. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is giving Fruit Loops an A. It's another very solid cereal, and it's running into the same issue where we keep giving, we, I keep giving, cereals that are very well-known and historic brands high ranks but you know there's a reason why they've been around and been you know killing it for so long because they're very good and i think fruit loops falls into that same category where there's nothing like bad to say about this it's just a, a real good cereal and they just did what they set out to do if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe, and in the comments below, post your general thoughts. Normally, you know, I do the whole, tell me if you've had this reveal, but you've had Fruit Loops, so it's more interesting if you can tell me if you haven't had Fruit Loops, and just, what's that, what's that like, having never had this? Because it shows up in everything. It's, this is one of the series that you can even get little, like, single serving things up so like it's everywhere so tell me what life is like if you have not met toucan sam but until next time stay delicious